My name is Jim Puza, and I'm the Director for Emergency Disaster Services for the Salvation Army Southwest Division. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit this morning about the Emergency Disaster Service Program for the Salvation Army and explain a little bit about what it is. The Salvation Army is a faith-based organization, part of the Universal Christian Church, and the Emergency Disaster Service Program is one element that fulfills that part of the Salvation Army's mission that deals with meeting human needs without discrimination. Our basic aim is to provide for unmet needs for disaster survivors as well as first responders. We do this by providing material comfort, physical comfort, emotional comfort, and spiritual comfort. What are the elements to emergency disaster service for the Salvation Army? Well, first of all, we have feeding and hydration service. This is probably the most well-known service that the Salvation Army provides. It could take the form of congregate feeding as well as mobile feeding from canteens, or it could be simple hydration service. Here in Arizona, we take the lead as the voluntary agency in assisting with donations management functions. Typically, it could be in providing some type of logistical support in terms of operating warehouses, or collection centers or distribution centers that are used to get the donated goods to the people who have needs for them. A key function for us is always emotional and spiritual care. Here we have highly trained disaster relief workers trained in emotional spiritual care that work with people to help them recover from the stress and trauma of a disaster. We also work with first responders in this regard. Another key function that the Salvation Army has in their disaster service program is individual assistance. Again, meeting the short-term unmet needs of disaster survivors early on in the response phase or in the longer term uh, as part of a long-term recovery organization where we work with case management to try and restore people to their pre-disaster condition. We are involved with cleanup and restoration as one of our functions where we might be distributing cleanup kits with buckets, shovels, and supplies necessary for people to help clean up, or in providing volunteer reconstruction teams to help people get back into their homes. Finally, we have emergency communications, whether it's with our own disaster service uh, workers, uh, our volunteers in Saturn, Salvation Army Team Emergency Radio Network, or working with uh, local radio groups such as Maricopa County Emergency Communications Group. These groups of amateur radio operators provide tactical nets and tactical support to help us during the response phase. If you have more questions on Salvation Army's emergency disaster services, contact your local Corps or Service Extension Unit and ask someone to give you more information on our emergency disaster services program.